All right, so the Ice Golem turn attack event, it's really good to be doing this right now because it's 3x for Cursed Gear. The difference between a team in Hydra who uses Cursed Gear versus a team that doesn't use Cursed Gear is night and day, so definitely farm up your Cursed Gear. This is the team that we're going to be working with. It's Rotos who's going to be soloing the Ice Golem. I have another champion I'm going to try out um, in a bit here, but I wanted to bring up Rotos because this is something that isn't new. Uh, I'm not the one that, that came up with this, but... I thought that I haven't seen I haven't seen this in a while, so I figured why not go ahead and bring this up. Of course, if you have other teams and you want to be a little more secure, then go ahead and use uh, whatever team that you can go ahead and use. But I'm gonna bring in food because why not build food at the same time? Plus, Rotos gets a boost whenever everybody else is dead. So right now we're going up against uh, stage five. We are positive affinity against the Spirit Golem. So I figured. Why not show you guys this and share it? Maybe it helps somebody. Maybe uh, if you haven't been using Rotos to solo, then it could be a, a good stage for you to, to go ahead and try out. So let's go ahead and just get through the waves here. During this phase, Rotos is able to charge up his um, uh, sturdiness as well as his damage because of his A2. And now we're almost at the point where um, he's almost at max because once he starts blocking revives, then you know that he's got that, I think it's like 60k boost. Yeah, so he, he gets through the waves pretty quickly, so it's not an issue here. And then we're going to get up to the hard ice golem boss here. Again, if you want to drop stages, it's not a bad idea to do it. If you want to do just stage 1 through 20, whatever you are able to do, then go ahead and do that. Remember, even if you're doing stage 1 to 3, it it's all about how many turns it takes for you to complete. So here we are. And we're just going to be knocking through this. And because of his Spurn Oblivion move, anytime he's hit, he can't be one-shotted. So that Spurn Oblivion shows up, and then sometimes he gets an extra turn. But basically, he's going to not die with one hit, and the Ice Golem hits pretty damn hard. But you'll see here in a bit, when he does his big move, it's going to show he's going to do his big move. Just wait for it. It's There it is. He's fine. He's completely fine. And because we have the right masteries on him, we're also able to bring his HP back up. And we're also placing the block revives on those uh, minions of his so we don't have to worry about them coming back, possibly putting down the uh, heal reduction. But you see, we're weak. he's weak hitting against us, and he's also uh, proccing his passive, so we're not dying here. That's why Rotus is just awesome for... Our, um, for Ice Golem. Now, if you want to go into a higher stage, you could definitely try going into a higher stage, but um, it ends up taking a little bit too long for my taste, for, for my liking. So I drop it down to around here. Plus, the waves on stage 9 are a bit iffy because there are there's the... Um, what do you call it? What's his name? There's the um, Totua Rhymehides in here who reflect damage. So on the second round, Rotos attacks those guys and he ends up killing himself. So that's something that if you can work around it, go ahead and work around it. But this works for me here. So I'm going to be farming stage five. Again, Rotos is just absolutely insane in of, in it of himself. He's an awesome champion. Um, I think it's important to show you guys basically this. This is what I was talking about. He block he blocks revive with this move, and he uh, once he gets enough HP from his Vitality Plunder, which is this A2 right here destroying max HP, as well as increasing his max HP by 60,000. So he's getting more health, so he's a lot harder to kill. His damage is also based off his HP. So that's why he's really good. And then this, of course, is going to keep him from dying. Now, if this damage reduction occurs, if Spurn Oblivion occurs, he gets an extra turn. However, it doesn't work against bosses. Now, if you have Siffy, and Rotos together, it's going to go a lot more so smoothly. And here are the masteries. It's important that if you're going to solo with Rotos, you take Life Drinker as well as Improved Parry just for a little bit of uh, more damage mitigation here, a little bit more healing here. We're taking Resurgent for any random debuffs, get a chance to remove that. Damage mitigation for de uh, delayed death. And Retribution helps out quite a bit. We're also taking Whirlwind of Death so that he's going faster and faster. Um, with everybody that he kills, as well as Cycle of Violence to have a chance to be able to put a cooldown on his skills here. You'll notice that Rotos doesn't have crit rate here because the gear that I have on him currently 
makes it so that if I took this, he would be over crit. So right now we're at 101% crit rate, which is why I just took the extra attack to give him uh, a boost in, in attack here. And then of course, Rodos and Siffy both together um, are able to pretty much do any of the stages together. I would still recommend um, going against uh, a weaker affinity of the Ice Golem, but like I said, you could always tweak the team however you want to, going with different foods, going with a full team if you want, or drop stages, but I just wanted to show off my Siffy Rodos combination, if I'm being completely honest with you. But I still wouldn't do this. I would still go back to doing stage uh, five with Rodos soloing because look, it's seven minutes long. So I don't recommend that. And then, um, yeah. So that's stage nine in case you wanted to do that. And we brought in some food and we put him in the lead for that 30% or 33% boost the speed, but still it was pretty slow. So that's why I recommend going to a lower stage like five or maybe even one or you could also do something like um, stage 20 with Mashalid. Mashalid is also an awesome champion for soloing the Ice Golem. And that's because he does things like place the leech or place the continuous heals on himself. So he's really good for, for this stage as well, just because he's able to do a lot of damage and then stay alive for the most part. In fact, uh, somebody in my Discord was the one who actually showed me uh, uh, his version of Mashalid. Uh, doing stage four by himself. It did take almost eight minutes, so, you know, uh, keep that in mind, but he can still get it done. Of course, um, not not the recommended, but for this specific event, that's just what we're going to have to uh, work with. Uh, if you're looking for something to uh, solo the Ice Golem, and then again, this is stage 20, and this is something we don't want to see. We don't want to see that heal reduction because that kind of screws us over, and it could very much uh, mess us up but again, we're on the lower stages and um, we're going to be doing just fine. There you go. We survived. We're still taking debuffs, so maybe adjust his resistance. But of course, I'm not going to be using a Mashalet. I'll be using Rodos. But again, he's going so fast. He's placing the debuffs, the leech, the increased speed, the self buffing. So that's that's pretty huge, right? So I think he's going fast enough, especially with your dead allies to the point where never mind. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to make a comment that I, I do like the setup here. You know, they put the eye in the tavern. They put Harvest Jack here, Madame Sally, and uh, I don't know who this is. Um, but yeah, also there is a uh, promo code. So if you haven't used Spooky17 yet, I would go ahead and throw in Spooky17 and get yourself a five-star chicken, some energy, and uh, this expires in six days. So go ahead and collect that. Everybody.